I'm so excited to get this series going. I'm also a little bit nervous too. On this day, I'm releasing four videos at once. And let me tell you, the YouTube, the magical YouTube algorithm does not like it when you do such things. So I hope you go and check all these videos out. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about a new way of experiencing a bike park. And it's like a choose your own adventure style. So we're starting here, top of the world, very, very highest trail of Whistler Mountain Bike Park. And when we get down to the end of this trail, it naturally splits. You've got sort of like a blue flow option, or you've got more of a gnarlier single black uh, tech and single black jump trail option. And so when we get to the end of top of the world trail, you're gonna be able to choose what trail I do next. Do I do Uno Mas Flow? Do I do No Joke and Freight Train with Pro Rider Remy Metallier? Or do we head over to Creekside and down to the bottom of Creekside ready to go back up again? Blue, green, bl single black, double black diamond trails. We've got everything. Remy Metallier's in it. Kaz from Mahalo, my dude, is making an appearance as well. Nick from Van Can. It's just, it's a really awesome series, so make sure you go and check it out. And uh, yeah, enjoy Top of the World, and let's start from there. Top of the World. Section one. Yeah, roads are the worst. <laughs> it's the hardest thing, always. Yeah, see you guys down there. Okay, here we go. Long way down. So just a couple of important things to know about the Top of the World Trail. It is an add-on ticket to your regular bike park ticket, and they only give away so many of these Top of the World passes for each day. So make sure you plan ahead, buy that Top of the World add-on. So I was just, I mean, I've ridden this trail a few times before, but uh, every time it never shows that this is actually kind of steep. Hey guys. Hey. Y'all good? Sweet. Wow. Awkward corners. Whoa. Cut my pedal. It's really hard to go fast on this first stop part. But you get a good look at it. I like showing everybody what they're in for before they hit it. You guys wanna go? I'm gonna take a sec, I'm waiting for people anyways. And the only way to get to Top of the World is by taking the Whistler Gondola right from sort of the bottom of uh, Whistler Village. And when you get to the top of the gondola, you go down a little bit of a connector trail over to the peak chair. And I think that peak chair it is one of the mo most fun parts of coming up and doing this. It's, it's, it's a pretty gnarly chair. It's awesome, all these big giant boulders and things you wind up going over. The whole thing is just Woo! an experience and it's worth doing at least once for everybody oh. that goes to Whistler. So I've got some friends behind me and Beth and I may have, uh, oversold the trail not because it's not good but because I said it really wasn't that bad and you know some, some in the group are more of the dark blue maybe single black trail kind of territory so <laughs> always looks so much easier on GoPro right Wah. But it's also really dry out right now. At the time of recording, this place has seen no rain for weeks. So loose. All the places where you can normally relax, can't relax. Because <laughs> there's just no grip anywhere. Chunky, chunky, chunky! Downhill tires are nice on this just because of all the rocks, but not required. Whew. Take a little breather. Onto the road. Just take this little road for a minute. A little bit of a pedal. I would say this trail is best suited 
to a longer travel enduro bike, you can ride it on anything. So if you're watching this as part of the Whistler Bike Park Choose Your Own Adventure video series, which I hope you are, because it's pretty, pretty friggin' fun. Right near the end of this, right at the end of this video, just a few minutes, you're actually gonna be able to choose what trail I ride next down the mountain. And then you can choose the next one after that, and the next one after that. You get to make all of the choices. But, you know, be gentle on me though. So loose, but so good. You gotta keep it light. <laughs> Maybe not the best example of that. Wow, it's like about an inch of dust. Oh. <laughs> Got pushed a little forward on that one. <sighs> Sorry, I'm probably taking it too easy on the trail, but it's actually my first time riding this trail in two years. And this is my first day at the Whistler Bike Park in a year. So uh, this is my warm up, I guess. <laughs> Whoa. Chunky, chunky, chunky. Oh, chunky, chunky. <laughs> okay. I know how to ride bikes. Very chunky in here. Light's pretty spotty in those sections, and you can't really tell how chunky it really is. But it's a workout. I'm gonna keep going. It'll be all right. I feel like I'm just getting warm. I don't wanna lose it. Wow, so many big rocks just laying on the trail now. Oh. Views, amazing berm. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. All right, I am going to stop here. There's some shade. So cool, hey. What a trail. <laughs> a little kicky, but I've learned. <laughs> I've almost gone end over end on that little jump a few times over the years. Now, I know. Oh, a bit of a plunge. Right. Big berms. Oh. Whoop. 
so loose. Wow. <laughs> it's one of those things that doesn't really show up on camera, that's for sure. Just how deep the dust is. And I'm glad I'm not having to follow somebody. <laughs> Woo! Because I wouldn't be able to see a thing. Oh! <laughs> right. Woo. Now you get out to sort of a road, I guess. Access road. Little stream. Oh, grouse. Oh boy. So these guys, if you ever see them on the trail, be careful. Because they are the angriest birds you have ever come across. They don't care how big you are, they will just they'll just attack your leg. Okay, see if there's any changes. Nope. A lot of overgrowth. It looked different because I couldn't see through. And this part of the trail. Whoa! That's nice and chunky again with rocks. And then it gets chunky with roots just up here. Just gotta stay light. Yeah, nice. Oh, so good to get into the trees, a little bit of shade, cool down. But, the trail's just a freaking pleasure. It's not for the faint hearted, for sure. If you're a blue trail level rider, Oh man, Carrie's gonna hate me saying this. Carrie's one of the people that's following me. And uh, she's gonna hate what I'm about to say. If you're a blue level rider, then trail is probably a bit too much, the whole first section for sure. But I don't wanna take that into consideration. But if you can get past that part, you can walk it. No harm and no shame in walking some of the stuff. Then, it's just a really fun, kind of challenging tech trail. And challenging because it's chunky. Not because it's any like big drops or anything as you've seen. Nothing super high consequence. Woo. And we just cruise along, sort of bench cut for a little bit, watching out for giant softball sized pointy rocks. Have a little sit down. Now, you're gonna get down this and across the bridge. And that's where you can congratulate yourself for finishing up top of the world. Okay, so we just finished top of the world and now is when you get to make your very first choice down the mountain. And it's a pretty important choice. To our right is Blue Una Moss. It's gonna be like Blue Flow. And we're gonna take that to Blueberry Bathtub. Berms on berms on berms until we get to the Fitzsimmons zone and then you've got another choice after that. And the other way that you can choose is we're gonna take a single black tech, single black jump trail kind of line. It's gonna be no joke and freight train and freight train and then Fitzsimmons zone for another choice. And to go with me on the no joke run, got a pretty star studded cast behind me. There's Remy Metallier. He's gonna be out in front. I'm sure you know him. We've got Kaz from Mahalo, my dude. And we've got Nick from Van Can. So pretty heavy crew. Make your choice. Let's go ride. Yeah. 